how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is your top secret cross watchers video. Everything you want to know about your person of interest, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and their actions towards you. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. This is Irish Donna Tarot. And thank you to all of my beautiful subscribers. Oh, their thoughts, two of wands. They are daydreaming about you. So, Leo, your person is wondering what you're up to, what choices you will make. That is, they're looking at the moon, they're looking at the starry nights and thinking about how they want to spend time with you. Six of Wands, they are thinking that you are a winner and you are chicken, what is it, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You are the person they want to be with. Six of Wands, they want a victory. That's Leo energy. There you are in your reading, Leo. So we have the Two of Wands, which is Aries energy. And so we've got a nice little fire burning here. Let's see what do we have. What else do we have for their thoughts? The Hanged Man, they're trying to look at things from a different perspective. So, what's going on, Leo? What is going on? They are, that's Pisces energy. They're trying to see everything from a different perspective so they know how to win. In terms of their feelings, they're very strategic. They have their defenses up. They have their guard up. They're not sure exactly what they're going to get to have with you because this person is coming in with this energy of definitely feeling as though they have to be strategic. They have to be, they have to look at things from a higher perspective. And that goes with the hanged man energy. So let's see, they're trying to see things from your viewpoint and what that means and how they will have to make their approach. Okay, so what else do we have for your person? What else is going on? Let's see, let's see here. Ooh, temperance card. Temperance card is so lovely. Temperance card is usually when you've known someone for a period of time. It it indicates that, um, let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I never know. I'm going to put it on the table. You can see it on the table. Okay. So we get the temperance card. So for many of you, you may have been physically separated from this person for a while. Um, it looks as though you, you might have been in two different locations with the Two of Wands energy. And what we're seeing now is a strategy is being formed to come together, to meet, to see each other. So I do feel that many of you have been on good terms, but in different places. It could be pandemic, it could be jobs, it could be anything that has, has kind of kept you apart is what it looks like. Okay, so let's look and see. The Two of Pentacles, okay. So they're trying to make up their mind. It looks as though this really shows great value. They do value you. They do want to come together with you in a very beautiful way. So let's, we're going to clarify everything, of course, okay. So now let's see what their intentions are with you. What does this person intend with Leo? What is the intention of Leo's this cross watcher video of the person that you're asking the sun card leo leo you are their happiness they've never been happier than they've been with you never here you are so their intention is to be with you and if you notice there's really a thing going on here with birds and eyes the bird's eye view from the sun and you know and look at this we have this this one also with the King of Swords energy. So it's Aquarius and Leo. So some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, but it really, it shows that you're on that spectrum of first and seventh house of, you know, yourself and your marriage partner. So I like the energy. It's really great energy for you. Let's see, what else do we have in terms of their intentions? Their intentions before we clarify. And the clarifiers make or break the reading, so I really advise you to stick in. This is not going to be all of it. The Three of Pentacles. So your person really plans on engaging you in some sort of a project, like, oh, Leo, could you help me with this? Or, oh, Leo, I will help you with that. On the other hand, some of you may actually work with this person, or you might work with them in the future. So it looks like they might try to recruit you to do something that allows them to spend a lot of time with you. Interesting. So let's see what we have. The devil energy. Ooh, they're going to tempt you. 
<laughs> plain out. This person is a sexy devil and they're going to tempt you and they're going to try to seduce you and <laughs> they're going to try to sort of take the upper hand in this situation. So watch out, Leo. <laughs> this person is very crafty. Okay, what else? Now, what do we have for their actions that they're going to take? Oh, good. I'm so happy. People, when I get the devil energy, I really want to see truth-telling energy. And that is what I see here for you. The Ace of Swords, the truth, the whole truth, the nothing but the truth. So their intention is to come towards you in a very, very like logical but very busy, positive way. They're going to have a big plan, a master plan that this samurai warrior has cooked up. They definitely want to entice you to go on a vacation with them. It could be a cooking school vacation. It could be a vacation in which you learn something. Or it could be something that they even do for work. Like, oh, I have some sort of conference or I need to go to Las Vegas or I need to go to London or I need to go to, you know, to Taipei. And, and I want you to come with me. So Leo, that it looks like your person is going to try to sort of take you someplace so that you can hang out together. The Three of Cups, nice. Three of Cups is a reunion card. So I do think for many of you, you have been separated geographically from this person, but the love is not gone. The more cups, the more love. I always love it. I love the love, right? And the Chariot card. It's going to take more than a hot minute. When I get the Chariot card that is basically a snail, that chariot card is very determined, but slow moving. So it may take a little bit of time. So I feel as though your manifestations here will take a moment. Okay, so let's see what we have here for clarifiers for our beautiful Leo friends. I'm going to move those out. Okay, so Leo, Leo, what is happening? The Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here for you and your person? The Two of Wands, in the past, your person has held back. I would say in recent, the recent two months probably, I feel as though they've held back. They didn't really let you know what their plans were, but now they will. There's your balance. There's a Libra Seventh House Partnership Balance in the relationship, and that with the Temperance card is very good. It's all about what works for us. How are we going to do this? That's we, not me. All right, where do they want their victory with you? Ah, looks like somebody had walked away. Again, I'm getting the feeling that there might have been a separation more for career purposes because of the dynamics that I see in the cards. So I would say that what they're doing is the way that they win is to return. And the Eight of Cups, I must say the Eight of Cups energy for me has is oftentimes travel or when somebody goes to work a temporary assignment could be in another country could be in another place but i was in the travel industry for years and this this card came up constantly in the readings that i did for my co-workers we were always leaving everything that we loved to turn around and go back to what we loved so you know, I don't see that as a cut and dry because that person's walking into the sunshine. Look at that. That sunshine is right there. And look at this. Making my way back to you, babe, is the song or the, the, uh, the uh, lyrics that I have in my head. Because this person's walking into the sun and you're the, you represent the sun to them. So I feel very much that they left or they've been gone for a period of time. And now they're trying to come back for this reunion with you. All right, so let's see. Please leave comments. Tell me how this resonates. You know, not every card or not every piece will be yours. It's a general reading. But I'm getting that in the past, they feel as though they were immature with you. And, you know, immature isn't a big deal. I mean, you're dealing with a full-blown adult. But they really do think that they want to give you much more energy of being reliable, that you could count on them. Um, but they do think that they've been somewhat flaky with you in the past, and they're looking at that now. They're looking at some of the history of the, the way they did things with you, and they don't think it was so great. Um, they definitely see you as caring about them, but they also see you as being aloof. You know, you don't have any, you're not building up a lot of expectations, so now they have something to prove if they want to win you back. 
And uh, so what do we have here for the King of Swords yet again? Ah, here we go. The work card. There we go. So I think for most of you, this person left because of a career. You know, it's like taking a relocation, uh, going someplace. But we see that this person is single. That, but, you know, they've been single. Now, temperance card tells me that they want to temper their singlehood. And you're the person with whom they want to temper it. Leo, Leo. <laughs> okay. So why do we have temperance here? What Tell us something. Yep, you're the rock star. When they have been in this other location, you know, just going about life, they've really thought about you a lot. And you've always been this very spiritual, this is Aquarius energy. And so, Leo, this is your seventh house. But they feel that you're a wonderful partner, that you're beautiful, you have a beautiful spirit, that you always have something beautiful to say, that you're a kind person, you're beautiful inside, and you're beautiful outside. And that is something that they have missed about you. They very much missed that. So why do we have... I think this is a two of pentacles. Okay. Why do they see you as juggling two, maybe? They think that you could be dating somebody else. They think you look really great. They feel as though you're amazing to look at. You've looked, you look better now, and it's really them. You know, I mean, you look great, but they're just, they're putting their eyes on you going, what, what was I thinking? They want to throw caution to the winds. They absolutely want to throw caution to the winds. They want to make sure that you don't choose someone else. They are going for broke here. Yep. Oh, look at this, the big commitment. They definitely want a committed relationship with you. That is their intention, is to capture your interest, to capture your heart, to be in it, to win it with that Six of Wands energy. Why is the Sun card here, Leo? We have Sagittarius Temperance. Here we go again. They feel so calm and so happy and so at peace. In the middle of being joyful, they have a lot of gratitude. They have great gratitude for you. Three of Pentacles energy. What do we have here? What is the Three of Pentacles energy for our beautiful Leos? Nine of Wands. Okay, so they don't really know that you're going to buy into the plan that they've cooked up. <laughs> they don't know that you're going to want to have some sort of working relationship or project, but... They don't care. They'll do whatever is necessary. This is a fire in their belly. They're willing to do the work. Okay, so let's see what else we have. All right, so let's see about the devil card. Why are they so obsessed with you? This is, I want to also point out, right in the heart of the reading, this is the emotions. They love you unconditionally. That is hopes and dreams for love coming true. So in their heart space, they see you as the most magnificent, the one that they feel is the gift from the universe that they're going to be allowed to have if they do the right things, if they can prove themselves to you, if they can win your heart back. Because again, I do think that you had some sort of separation through circumstance. And so they know that they need to step up the game to get you back, to really win your heart back. The devil card is clarified. <laughs> love it. The King of Pentacles is clarifying the devil card. Now I can tell you what this means. This person loves, 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 loves to give a beautiful gift. This is the daddy card. The daddy that wants the ponies at the birthday party. That daddy. And this daddy energy wants to give you a beautiful, they want to take you on a shopping trip. They would love to buy you an outfit, whether it be a suit, whether it be a beautiful dress. But they want to take you out for a very spectacular evening and really make a show of it. Because we have the Taurus King and we have somebody who has the intention to go the distance with you. All right, so when we look at the, the Ace of Swords, why is this the Ace of Swords here for Leo? The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth are coming in fast, the Chariot card. All right, they like to buy nice cars also because they liked a nice ride. Let's see, the Three of Cups, let's see. Okay, so they don't know exactly when 
they're going to make the plans. It's going to be, they are manifesting you. They are manifesting you. And they have to find out from you what your plans are. But they want to surprise you with the reunion. So they may try to talk to a friend of yours with the Three of Cups. And they may try to surprise you in that way. Uh, it also looks like you might take a ride in a carriage through a park. A romantic ride after dinner, but together. But this will be a prearranged carriage. I love it. So if you're in a beautiful city environment or even a country environment, this person has orchestrated everything beautifully with this two chariots. I mean, <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, look at that. A beautiful gift. Leo, that's what I have for you. Sending you love. Take care. Bye-bye.